Can drinking water make you gain weight? Or I should say make you fat? Well, before you write me off, think of it this way. If it impacts your thyroid by lowering your thyroid's function, or like the British researchers like to say, derange your thyroid, yes, it actually can, and especially if the water is fluoridated. Now, before you go, oh, this one's anti-fluoride, pro-fluoride, the fluoride uh, rants, just forget everything you heard about fluoridation in water up to this point in time, and let's start anew. All right, in a research article entitled, Water Fluoridation in England, Linked to higher rates of underactive thyroid, you heard me right. And the citation title, which you see below, are fluoride levels in drinking water associated with hypothyroidism prevalence in England, the large observational study of GP practice data and fluoride levels in drinking water. The Journal of Epidemiology, Community Health, printed this February 2015. All right, this is what they did. Not a lot of water is fluoridated in England, approximately about 10%. So since only about 10% of the communities get fluoridated water, it gives them an opportunity to give a good contrast to see non-fluoridated areas in fluoridated areas. And what they did is they noticed that fluoride happens to block iodine uptake or interferes with iodine. In fact, as little as 0.01 milligrams per liter of fluoride is extremely detrimental to a person that already has low iodine levels. So. The researchers went forward, and this is exactly what they did. After taking into account of influential factors such as female sex and older age, both which linked to increased risk of hypothyroidism, they found an association, this is their words, not mine, they found an association between rates of the condition and levels of fluoride in drinking water. And you go, oh, it must be a tremendous amount of fluoride in the water, it must be downstream from an industrial plant, what is it? Here we go says in the areas with fluoride levels of 0.7 milligrams per liter. 0.7 milligrams a liter. Where do I recognize that number from again? Oh yeah, the CDC. When they said the Health and Human Services proposed changes to recommend the level of community water systems down to 0.7 milligrams per liter. So in the US, if you drink a fluoridated water, before I proceed, it's probably in the 0.7 milligram to 1.2 milligram range, but don't worry about that. The EPA is basically making sure that we don't put more than four milligrams per liter of fluoride in the drinking water. Yeah. All right, so let's proceed. All right, in areas with fluoride levels of 0.7 milligrams a liter, they found higher than expected rates of hypothyroidism in the areas with levels below this dilution of 0.7 milligrams per liter. This is what they found. His high rates of hypothyroidism were at least 30% more likely in practices located in areas where fluoride levels were the excess of, are you ready for this? 0.3 milligrams a liter. In the US, low is considered 0.7 milligrams per liter. And when they got to the 0.7 milligrams per liter, it increased to double. So it went from 30% to doubling that rates at the level that we usually like to basically fluoridate our water with. And according to the CDC, ironically, fluoridation of water is considered one of their top 10 achievements. So you're gonna have to balance it out. Either you brush your teeth with toothpaste that has fluoride in it, or you allow the CDC to medicate the entire population for you by adding fluoride to the water. But let's proceed. It says basically, there's a clear association found in our analysis between fluoride levels in drinking water and variations in hypothyroidism. Prevalence appears to confirm findings in earlier studies that ingestion of fluoride affects thyroid function. And this is what the researchers emphasized. The fact that the difference is significant suggests that there is substantial cause for public health concern, which is contrary to what the CDC says. The CDC says in their data, Experts have weighed the findings and the quality of the available evidence and found that the weight of peer-reviewed scientific evidence does not support an association between water fluoridation and any adverse health effects or systematic disorders. Well, I guess the CDC, as of February 2015, has to go back and change that text. Because in the United States, between 4% and 5% of the U.S. population may be affected by what's called deranged thyroid function making it among the most prevalent of endocrine diseases in our country. So, 
The researchers actually used, from Britain actually used that deranged thyroid rate in the United States to formulate their hypothesis that fluoridation was causing people's thyroids to go, ugh. So before the CDC or any social health advocates begin to incorporate their own personal altruistic behavior in offering to medicate you against your will, maybe a better recommendation would be just to basically brush your teeth. It's Ralph Churchiano, signing off. Once again, thank you.